morning, good morning, good morning. It's time to rise and shine. Good afternoon. Welcome back to my channel. As people say, I am here to say, no, you know what I should have said? Welcome back to the channel where we do things where it seems like a good idea at the time. Um, all of these hair products say, uh, in the directions, where is it? Where is the directions? Oh. Section hair, apply product to, it always says to apply product to damp, oh, this one says, or dry hair. It's usually with wet hair. You know what? This might not be a bad idea. My hair has been feeling really crispy, crunchy lately. So what I'm going to do is take this and apply it to dry hair. And we're going to work with that for the day and see what happens. Okay, so as you can see, I got it all put in braids because it says... For best results, use as a styling cream for twist outs, braids, and wash and go styles. Like, what is a wash and go style? You wash and you put this product in and you go. That's usually what I do, like every day, all the time. All day, every day. So, um, yeah. So it says don't wash out. So I'm just going to have it as like it is right now. I know my part's probably crooked. It doesn't look crooked. It's pretty good for not using a mirror or anything. Oh, look at it all. It's all the hair. Oh, boy. And, ooh, I'm going to have to wash this out. Wash it off, because gunky. Look at how gunky that is. Gross. And then all the gunky hair that I lost. Ball it up and put it in the trash. In the trash, whatever. Yeah, like so. I'm hoping that this will, because it's still, it feels wet or st like sticky. I'm hoping that it doesn't um, get all weird. But I used a lot. I didn't show you before, but this is probably, it was mostly full. And now it's like half, almost halfway gone. I use quite a bit. So I'm hoping that this will moisturize throughout the day. At the end of the day, I will be rinsing my hair because I know for sure that this is going to feel gross by the end of the day. Yeah. Well, we'll end up swimming. We're going to end up swimming. So I'm going to have to wash my hair anyway. Because we're going to go to a hotel tonight into tomorrow and Sunday. Yeah, just to get out. Just to get out of the house, seriously. E Tennessee Whiskey is on. It's playing right now. The Bruno Mars radio station plays a lot of various types of music, which I enjoy various types of music so now i'm gonna clean up this area because you know i clean i spent hours cleaning out this closet i'm not about to leave it messy and i'll see you in a little bit walmart man I'm telling you right now well i came here because um i need a brush a brush for my car, you know, to get the snow off. I used a push broom today because I don't have a snow brush thing. And I'm gonna tell you right now, there are fanny packs everywhere. They are back. Fanny packs, I figured they'd come back, but they have come back with a vengeance. They have these ones where it's like a belt, but it's just like, you know, on there. That, the fanny pack fanny packs just everywhere however I did find this little cute little gem is a tiny backpack purse it can be a, a 
You can have it in multiple different ways, but I put it as a back. I adjusted it already for me, for moi, for moi. My braids feel so soft. Anyways, um, this lady just asked if I knew where the gloves are, the winter gloves. She's like, have you seen any winter gloves? Nope, I haven't. All right, time to peruse some more. Spending an awful lot of time at Walmart right now. I have like five items. That's not true. I went to the desserts. One, two, three, four, five, six, five, seven items. Three of which are uh, snacky dessert things. So I'm gonna bring to the hotel tonight. And I'm looking for a nice bottle of wine. See all the wine. Oh, jeez, I'm so sorry. I didn't see you there. Sorry. Anyway. Okay. I thought I'd pick something and not be in the middle. Um, yeah, let's do that. Okay, so you want to know what happens at Walmart when you forget your ID, but you want to buy alcohol? You buy alcohol. They, I forgot my ID. I don't know where it is. It's probably in a pair of pants I was wearing um, some time ago. And now I have to go home and find my ID. So that way I'd be able to check into the hotel. Because I'm pretty sure they asked for an ID. I don't really know. Look at my chins. Anyway, it's winter in, it's November 1st, and it's our, we've already had a couple of snowfalls. It's supposed to be snowy and rainy t later today. So I'm gonna get home, get this stuff inside. By that time, it'll probably be time for me to take JJ to mom's. So I, so, cause I told her I'd uh, get there about five. And it is 3.57 right now, so it's about 4 o'clock. So yeah, I'm going to get home, unpack all my stuff, and then uh, seeing what time it is, we'll go and drop JJ off at Mom's house. Okay, bye. Good evening. We've just checked in. The refrigerator is running. I'm going to go catch it. <laughs> It's our hotel room. We've got a queen, a king. Uh, they call it a suite. It's really just got it's got a couch, it's a pull out couch. So if we had a guest for some reason, they can now uh, sleep on the pull out. We have a king size bed, TV, small but whatever, armoire type closet. You know, it's a closet. Oh, look at that. All right, so I'm about to unpack. Pool's open till midnight. We're gonna head out to um, Dave and Buster's. So, see you there. All right, Dave and Buster's. Here we are. Me and Russ. Say hi, Russ. Hi, Russ. They got. I opened this menu. Look what they got right here. Chicken and waffle sliders. Uh, yeah, I know what I'm getting. Yeah. Time to have some fun.
experience and our evening so we'll probably go swimming gonna hit up the swim pool and go to bed so that's it for tonight have yourself a good night toodles